Come on, my nog, it's the fourth wave. What's the 144? What's the 144? You know, a lot of us, man, we wake up and we start to recognize the difference in the vibration between what we've been given and what we feel. Then we learn that we are the Hebrew found right here in America, which is the old world, which is Egypt, which is Israel, which is Mu, my naga, you know what I'm saying? All this is Mu, all this is the ancient love song here. We've been fighting a fight, it's a frequency war, snake versus dragon, or really dragon versus jackal. That is the uh, alchemical serpent, my naga. And once you start pulling out of their teachings, and you know, okay, you got your creator, so, we ain't here to take your creator away. We're here to give you, you know, at least a perspective of a clear path to your source. You ain't got to call it nothing. You ain't got to, you know, talk on, you know, no type of lingo. Just know that you you are connected to a source, man. You come from the earth, man. You come from this turf, man. This realm, my naga. You got the, you got the keys when you in order, my naga. We got the keys when we in order, my naga. But you got to learn to separate and just take what is absolutely essential at this point to move forward with. That which has been tested, that which has always led to the cold, to the ancient love song, you know what I mean? Back to your, back to your flow, the flow that you succeed in, because you ain't succeeding in their flow, right? They're all seeing eye and all that stuff. That's them witnessing you. You must witness your code, your flow, your law, right? They got their law. Managa, they're just duplicating. And <laughs> love to Yosef, he's in the ether right now, talking about them duplications, reading that Caesar's Messiah, talking about them duplications. Because you got to just recognize they got their anointed and you got yours. So when they gave you a new tune, they gave you a new test. They had multiple councils, and they tried to figure out, since we come into America, and since we finally found the Hebrew Nagas, the Negus, the King of Kings, the Queens, the Royalty, the Regals, since we finally found the Israelites, since we finally just found these Nagas, literally in the 16th century. <laughs> they just rolled up on us here. They literally just found the Kingdom of Israel. Since y'all just found us here, they say, okay, well, how can we convince them to go after Christianity? How can we convince them to go after this excellent new tomb? And boy, boy, did they have council after council. I mean, look up the Council of Trent, Council of Nicaea, all to figure out how to hijack you, man. So when you wake up, you got to see, okay, where is all their bricks laid down? Where's their foundation? So they gave you a new book. And the Christian today, that's what you lean on, right? That little slither compared to all the Old Testament, to, compared to all the Tanakh, you take this little slither, the Gospels, Romans, Revela a Revelation, man. A Revelation got their heart bone. Revelation got them wearing their heart bone on their chin bone. And we giving them chin music, my naga. Ancient love song, chin music, my naga. Because why are you holding on to Revelations? Once you know that outside of your Tanakh, we ain't going to rock. Now you can get the drop out wherever you find the drop. The duplications, like yourselves bringing out the typologies. Now you can see clearer, so you know the spell you're under. But don't go over there to the New Test reading about, oh, Lord said this and Lord said that. That Lord ain't your power. That's a different power. That's a different Lord, my knock. That's a different creator. They had to substitute their, their Isus. They're Zeus. They had to substitute their Jupiter. These people worship Jupiter. And my, <laughs> my naga, these people worship Zeus, man. They worship Jupiter, man. All right? They worship Satan, right? They worship Saturn, my naga. They had to figure out a way, just like Pepsi, how can we rebrand, repackage this? So now they got this revelations popping off. Well, we've been having revelations. As a matter of fact, I mean, the fifth letter of Hebrew is the high, which is the reveal. That is our revelation. We're in the cult with mama. So should we be chasing New Testament spells or should we be connecting to our ancient love song? That's what we got to decide as a, as a unit. Because I'm a naga from here. I'm a naga rolled up right here in this land. So you give me something that they gave to you to give to me. Well, what's this trickery about? 
and I mean, for real, for real, man. This, this, this revelation business, man. God. Got Nagas that know better. Still connected to something that they are giving their heart bone to. They still think that that's what the creator talking about. Pay attention to very simple details. How does the book of Revelation spin and flip, let's say, dragons? Old Testament, you got the book of Job. You got Hawaz dragon, Leviathan. Hawaz bragging to Job, man, can anybody put a hook through his jaw and bring him up like me? Can anybody make him fall back like me? And if you can't handle Leviathan, how can you handle me? That's my dragon, my nugget. <laughs> That's how the creator's rocking. You got Moses making a copper dragon, literally, in Numbers 21. Whoever it breathes on, it gives him more life, not death, my nugget. He gives him a copper dragon. They say bronze, brazen serpent, brazen serpent, nah. He made a copper dragon. You know he didn't make no statue because that would be against rule number one. We ain't supposed to be making no idols, my nigga. We ain't supposed to be making no no images. So you know he made an actual dragon, my nigga. And whoever it bit or the fire that stung, bit, stung, same word. Whoever it stung, whoever the, the fire breathed on, they got life, my nigga. See, that's a different dragon flow. You got Nehemiah, you know, Nehemiah 2 cruising around on the Drakan. Now you go to Revelations. The only time you hear about a dragon is this, oh, this, this dragon devouring the child. And, you know, this devil serpent dragon, this crooked serpent. Uh, oh, you talking about Leviathan? Multiple head, seven head dragon. Psalm 74, Levi, Leviathan got multiple heads. Duplications. The war that went down with that dragon in Revelations actually went down with Leviathan, my noggin. And some say Job is the oldest book, so you're talking about Leviathan sinking Atlantis, my noggin? Uh oh. Did Leviathan sink Atlantis? Hey, man, I'm just popping off. And just letting you know that once you recognize the duplication, once you see how they flip the dracon, which is only the fire, the water, the ether, the earth, once, they, once you see how they flip your elements, you still over there reading verbatim? You, you still over there in love with Revelation, my nigga? Show me how Revelation going to teach me to keep the code, though. Rule number one, no power for my power. Show me how Revelation teaches me how to connect directly to Hawa. And once we connect directly to Hawa, we got that breath. We got that reveal, that revelation. Revelation is wisdom. Revelation is mama. You don't need a duplication of revelation when you got mama. Yeah, man. You know, they bring up the 144,000. And, you know, I seem to remember Israel getting in trouble for numbering themselves. But we're infatuated with making the cut. That 144, that's Christianity, my nigga. That's when you are in fear of not making the cut. My nigga, once you pop off, you better be solid, man. You better be, you know, ten toes down, my nigga. You better, you better know who you are. You wouldn't be popping off if you weren't who you are. So don't be in, you know, in fear. Don't let the, it's always a frequency of fear when you're talking about the excellent new tone. Don't be in fear of not making the cut. We already won, love the natural by law. You can't already win and then be in fear of not making the 144. We got a good chance of not of, of making a nah man, we ain't got a good chance. We are. And who's who's limiting us to 144? Oh who who wanna be a part of the first rapture? My naga ain't no rapture, my naga. You popping off right now. You waking up right now. Zachariah 14, my nigga. We about to be shining up in here. That gamma radiation sparking off. What do you mean rapture? What do you mean 144? Is the 144 mentioned anywhere else in the scriptures other than Revelation? I'll wait. And if it's only mentioned in Revelation, you might as well flip that like they flipped the dragon and call that 441. If anything, Hawa got 441,000. He about to be sparking on first. You're going to take their numbers 144, flip it to 441. Because everything's flipped in the New Test, in Revelation. And we need one revelation, the real revelation, the one reveal. That is the, 
Wow, mama. <laughs>